Good morning, and welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Rezl11, and you can find me on Twitter at Rezl11Grinds. We're going to take a look at some pitching for today, the 29th of June. It is Thursday, I believe. Uh, we have a five-game day slate, and then a five-game main slate on DraftKings. I believe FanDuel includes the early San Diego-Pittsburgh game. Uh, where San Diego is a minus 205 favorite. If you're playing over on FanDuel, I think Musgrove is certainly an option, even though Pittsburgh has been scoring some runs. Uh, but let's dig into the day slate here. Um, no weather to worry about uh, other than the fact that it's over 100 degrees in Kansas City, uh, which... Um, kind of takes me away from Bieber. Not that I've been on Bieber a whole lot anyways. Uh, his case have come up. But, man, it's some great hitting weather in Kansas City. Uh, Bieber's been far rougher on the road as well. Uh, we probably have to consider him based on the pitching options on this slate. But I don't feel great about it. Similarly with Lance Lynn. Don't feel great about it. He actually has been better on the road. Uh, I mean, when you look at the numbers, they aren't they aren't pretty at this point. Uh, he was lit up by the Angels at home. He has a home run issue. Uh, strikeouts are there. Uh, walks can creep up. But uh, given the options on this slate, uh, Lynn might have the greatest ceiling, uh, which is really strange to say. Uh, obviously, he struck out 16 against Seattle. But, man, I I just, I really don't want to go there, but I think we have to. That's the problem. Um, you know, as it sits, I probably prefer to go to Lynn over Bieber, but I can understand if somebody tells me they're taking Bieber over Lynn. Uh, it's pretty close. Clark Schmidt, everybody's going to jump on Clark Schmidt. Uh, he's been throwing the ball decent. Uh, not a ton of upside with the Ks, but obviously Herman just threw a perfect game last night. Uh, short turnaround-ish, you know, for a day game uh, out in Oakland. And so, you know, I I imagine Schmidt's going to be the chalkiest pitcher on the slate. Totally fine, uh, but I just, I really don't want to chase Domingo Herman and his perfect game or getting lucky. I don't know. I didn't even watch the game, so. Um, but with the way Herman had been throwing... Uh, definitely was not an expected outcome. Reese Olsen, not going to do it against Texas. Coming off a great start against Minnesota. Solid K performance against Kansas City. So there is upside in him. Uh, I just don't really feel like taking a pitcher against Texas, uh, especially somebody who's not an ace at all. Uh, Sandoval against the White Sox. Uh, I think he's certainly in play. Uh, I wish he would strike out more guys at home. He's allowing a lot of hits. Uh, it's not a... He's not some great play. Um, I'm going to take a look. I think he actually... He is a favorite. It's, he's a minus 145 favorite right now. So, I don't know. Like Sandoval's fine as long as he finds a way to get Luis Robert out, who just keeps hitting home runs, uh, especially against left-handed pitchers. But uh, like I said earlier, this pitching slate is gross. So uh, we're going to have to be uncomfortable with a lot of the stuff we decide on. Uh, Chernos, guy that I use way too much, but this game has a 10.5 total today, uh, which is insane to me. Uh, but it is a pick em. I don't think I can go to Chernos against the D-backs, because I do love stacking the D-backs. But I would not be shocked by a little bounce-back performance. He's just not a huge K guy at this point. Uh, no interest in Granke. Hogan Harris against the Yankees. Uh, I mean, he has some K ability. He's going to allow some runs. Uh, maybe there's a little hangover effect from the Yankees uh, celebrating last night. Uh, so I can actually see Hogan Harris being a viable option. I'm not in love with it, but it's certainly an option. Uh, Brandon Fott, no thanks uh, in that game. Bradford, 
I have some interest, but we need to find out if he's going to be allowed to, you know, throw four to five innings, uh, thrown just 13 pitches over the last just over two weeks. Um, you know, obviously threw 13 pitches just three days ago. So uh, I don't know if that was just to get him sharp or whatever, but uh, not really sure what his outing is going to look like. Uh, if we learn more, uh, he certainly could become viable. Looking at the main slate here, uh, Scherzer against the Brewers. You know I always take pitching against the Brewers. Scherzer, a minus 190 favorite. Uh, certainly looks like an option for me. I think, uh, I believe he's been best at home, yep. Very good, strong numbers at home. Struggled against Milwaukee in the one start. Gave up three home runs. Uh, you know, home runs can be an issue, so there's always worries there. But uh, he has been pretty solid. Uh, four of his last six starts at 24-plus DK points. Always good to see. I'm a big fan of trends. Uh, things are trending in a better direction for him. Strikeouts are back, minus this weird game against the Yankees. Um so Scherzer's certainly an option. The fact that he's 11K, kind of annoying. Uh, Chris Bassett, got the extra day of rest, has been really good at home. Uh, has had some rough starts recently, but I think, you know, that extra day of rest could help out quite a bit. San Francisco can strike out a lot, but uh, they are a little more potent of an offense. But I do like Bassett, especially at 9,600. Uh, getting to the next game, the Taiwan Walker versus Hendricks. Uh, not really interested too much in Walker. I know he shut down the Cubs the first time he faced them, uh, but his road numbers are pretty bad. The wind's blowing out to center in Wrigley. It's not really an environment where I want to take pitching at this point. Similar with this Houston-St. Louis game, uh, temperatures are approaching 100. I think we're going to see some runs scored. Uh, France has been really good on the road, so maybe he's a viable option for us. I I just don't really know what to do about the St. Louis squad. Uh, they flash, you know, some home runs uh, and flash kind of waking up, but then all of a sudden they just go dormant again for a number of games. So if you wanted to use France, I probably wouldn't talk you out of it, but I would caution you a bit because of that weather. He is a minus 115 favorite. Not going to use Sheehan in Coors, I don't believe. Um, hasn't really shown the K upside at the major league level that he had in the minors. A couple of strong starts, though, so maybe he's an option for us, but um, I think the weather in Colorado, it's in the 80s. Wind is blowing in, but not much. Uh, probably won't get there, but I, I guess he would be an option on this slate because... Pitching just isn't that great today. No thank you on Kyle Hendricks in Wrigley with the wind blowing out. Um, no thank you on Adrian Hauser sliding back into the rotation. Uh, not really sure what kind of pitch count we're going to see with him coming back, uh, but I would be shocked if he throws you know more than 70 pitches or so. So I'm just not really interested in Hauser at this point. Wainwright has been brutal this season, just allowing a ton of hits, a ton of base runners, home runs. Weather approaching 100, I'm going to have to pass. Stripling, going to have to pass. Uh, you know, Chase Anderson, going to have to pass. So, like, as you can see, both slates are pretty gross in the pitching department. We are going to have to make some uncomfortable decisions. So we'll, on the main slate, does that mean we're going to have to use France or Sheehan? Maybe. Um, are we going to have to swallow a pride and use Hauser? You know, and just hope that he throws 80 pitches? Maybe as well. Um, you know, otherwise we're just living at the top with Scherzer and Bassett. Uh, and when you go all in on a, a pitcher combo, you know, it's super volatile. Um, but it's certainly something that I would consider doing. Um you know, kind of depending on how my stacks want to come together as well. But 
there we have it. There's a gross look at pitching options for today. If you enjoy what I do, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell, and get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. If you want to join us, I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, it's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly, or SUMMER50 for 50% off your first month. And as always, best of luck, everybody.